So let's think about uh, how to hear from God. You know, where is God? God, if you're born again in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that means uh, you've made covenant with him. You trust in him to save you. Only Jesus, no other gods, no other idols, no other things, no other uh, good works, whatever. You say, well, if you don't know what that means, go and look that up. I'm just talking to, straight to the subject now, but if you're born again in Jesus and filled with the Holy Spirit, which is what you're supposed to be, uh, first, uh, sorry, Acts 1-8, um, how do you hear from God? Jesus said, John 14, uh, 15, 16, about the Holy Spirit, he'll guide you and lead you. He's going to take the place of Jesus. Jesus is going back to heaven. He's sending the Holy Spirit to carry on his work. But instead of uh, like God, like with Jesus, God was out here talking to you. You were going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. and He'll talk to you from inside you in your spirit, in your heart, soul. They, If they're not all the same, they're part of a same interface. Your, your heart part of you. The Bible talks about your heart. It's not your your physical heart pump, it's a part of your soul and spirit area, you know, your gut feeling. And he's going to talk to you in your conscience and your heart area, you know, through your soul and mind also. But the more you renew your mind to the Bible and the, the nature and character of God, it's, it's easier for you to hear from him. That is when he's giving you thoughts, you know, the mind of the Lord. You, you have the mind of Christ, but you got to learn to hear from it. God will speak to you, but um, it's, it's gonna, he's going to talk to you in your thoughts, ideas, intuitions, feelings, gut feeling, uh, unctions, knowings, thoughts. What do you call it? Promptings. Usually it's a train of thought, you know, like you're thinking you're doing something else or you're thinking about something else, and then a, a train of thought that out of the blue, you know, nothing to do with what you're doing, just comes and it's like insight, right? And it's good. It's not sinful and stupid and foolish and worldly, earthly, sensual, demonic. It's good. It's right. It's wisdom. It's, it's in, and it's usually, a, no, it, it, it'll be about godly things. He'll be showing you understanding and insight, revelation, knowledge about the, the word of God, the Bible and his ways and the kingdom of God and the nature of God and his nature, his character. And you'll get more understanding how to, Enter into the kingdom of God and, and seek first the kingdom of God and live in it and live it. Be doers of the word. So when you get a thought like that, a stream of thought, it might be short, might be long. You should be quickly write it down, get recorded on your phone, do something. And then uh, go and look at it, think on it, let him keep unfolding it. Un it's like a seed and it, it'll grow, grow, and grow and develop more and more and more. Uh, if you capture it, and then talk to God about it and let him, let him ask him and think about it and value it, value it and let him talk to you about it and, and develop it and grow that train of thought or those ideas. It might be a sentence or a paragraph or a page or whatever, a book. And let him keep talking to you about it and, and, and showing it to you and unfolding it and developing it. Glory to glory, glory strength to strength, grace to grace. And so, but to hear from God... <laughs> this is what I just got right now. I'm do out doing something else, and I just here's a train of thought to, you know, uh, the most important commandment is love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. And it's like the Holy Spirit was saying, you have to love yourself. Most people don't love themselves enough. But if you love yourself enough, you, you know, love the Lord enough and properly, and, and love yourself enough and properly and then therefore you can love people enough and properly but if you love if you're born again and you know you're you're grafted in and adopted in the lord and accepted and made one and grafted and and legally brought in and uh, made one and and, and 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 one with jesus and you know i said he said grafted in adopted accepted all these things um um then you're valuable and you're cared for, and you're good, and you can be secure, you know, and, and rest in his uh, acceptance and grace and care, and he cares for you, you know. And so, uh, 
you can quit being um, uptight and uh, angry at yourself, angry at others, and fearful because you live in performance orientation or perfectionism and trying to, you know, look smart and cool and perfect to not be rejected. That's all evil. You're not really saved if you're still in that mess. You're not. Maybe, maybe it hasn't got from your head to your heart that you're accepted and, you know, just relax and then start working with God to keep renewing and transforming you. Quit trying to act. Nobody's perfect. Nobody got God. Bob says no, no one's good. You, you're not good. And the only way you are good is if you're connected, born again, in covenant with Jesus. So amen. That's the only thing you have anyway. So quit trying to, to, to do your performance and works and looking cool and perfectionism and all that mess. It's fake anyway. That's what the heathens do. So quit that. And then rest in God and then just be real. Amen. Take the masks off. Be real. Say, uh, confess your sins one to another, faults, flaws, fears. Once, and one to another, pray that you may be healed. Say, uh, I need to work on this and this. I'm good at this, but I'm bad at this. I got a problem here and I'm messed up here, but I'm good here and here. Thank you, Lord. I need to work on this. Amen. And be real. So, um, but anyway, love yourself. And uh, if you love yourself and you know that God is in you, he is. Christ in you, the hope of glory, is the greatest thing that it's ever been, but it's now revealed in the New Covenant, New Testament, Colossians 127. I'm doing this all by memory. There's no, I'm sitting here, standing here in, uh, you know, uh, there's no Bible here. So anyway, uh, do this by memory. And so, you know, God is in you. You're the temple of God. The Spirit of God dwells in you. And the Christ in you, the hope of glory. He said, the Holy Spirit shall be in you, and he'll lead and guide you. So then you start loving yourself, valuing yourself. And knowing that God is in you, the Holy Spirit is in you, in your heart, in your mind and in your heart, uh, and, and, and in your heart and in your mouth, um, Romans 10. Um, but God in you, you know, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So where, where is he at? He's in your belly. And from the belly, he's going to talk to your mind and so forth. But where's God? God is in, in, in you, in here, in you. He's not... He's everywhere. I mean, he's what he's called om omnipresent. So yeah, God the Father, and I mean they're everywhere. I, I, I'm not going to act like I fully, fully, fully understand that. Nobody really does. But he, but for sure, you need to catch this one that he's not way up there somewhere. He is right here in you. If you're born again Christian, filled with the Holy Spirit, you got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And um, uh, Acts one and two. Look at that. And so. But uh, this, you have to love yourself and value yourself and realize you are good. Amen. You, you're good and God is in you. Therefore, in you is a source, a source of good. Amen. The people that don't love themselves properly and they don't really believe or think or know or believe and agree with that God is in them. If you're born again, feel the Holy Spirit. If you don't believe God is in you, in your you know, soul and spirit, and if you don't love yourself, you're, you won't be, be, how shall I say, geared towards, and, and you, 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 you won't be looking, your, 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 your radar, you're looking, you're hearing, you're knowing, your, your, your sense, and your, your looking, you're pulling on is not going to be really properly turned to be hearing from God in, in you. You're going to think he's out there somewhere. And you can hear God, of course, in the Bible and, through an accurate preaching, teaching, or, of course, he's talking to people sometimes, maybe just a word or a sentence, sometimes a lot, but depends on who the person is. But you've got to hear God in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory, the Holy Spirit in you will lead and guide you into all truth, the spirit of truth. So you've got to love yourself, and you've got to know that God is in you, and you're one with God. You are the temple of God. You are made one. Get that, made one. Look at Ephesians and stuff, you know. And um, he'll fill you all in all. Be filled with the fullness of God. So you're, you're a new creation. And love yourself. You are good. Uh, if you're in Jesus and connected to him, he starts making you more and more good, and cleaner and better and wiser. But uh, you got to love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love the Lord your God. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You got to love yourself. And you got to be cognizant you got to be aware and really believe in and knowing god is in me therefore he's going to speak in you and so you got to learn that and all of a sudden you'll be hearing instead of looking out here for god to be talking you'll be turning and, and he's he's you'll be looking in here he's in me he's in here and then, then it's, you'll 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 hear more you'll catch more 
of his thoughts, revelations, unctions, ideas. Um, you'll catch, you'll, you'll see, or you'll recognize, you'll hear, you'll discern more, and you'll catch more, and then, you know, write it down and, and develop it and uh, war the good warfare with the prophecies he gives you, in, in your Raymond words. Uh, and, 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 but but, but you, you got to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you won't think that God is in you, speaking to you from in you, because you don't love you. You don't think you are good, but you are good if you're born again, connect, connected to Jesus, in covenant with Jesus, one with Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, you are good. And then you got to realize, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, that God is in you, so you're going to be hearing from him in you, in your in your heart, your thoughts, your 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 intuitions, your thoughts, your insight, your the unctions, the the the, the promptings, the intuition, insights, or just clear trains of thought, train of thought. It's good, but you know what is it? It's what's it talking about? You know, if it's not foolish and stupid and sinful, probably it's the Lord. You know, look at it and write it down. And if it's if you're learning more about the Bible and God's ways and about Him and about life and how to win, how to overcome, that's God talking to you from in you. So learn to hear from God. But you need to lo love yourself, love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. You got to love yourself or you can't love your neighbor and you, you know. So anyway, love yourself and be understanding Christ in you, the hope of glory. Holy Spirit is in you, you know. New heart, new mind. And then, yes, we're looking for God. We're listening, seeing, looking, listening, discerning, even in your spirit and soul, God out here. But also, and probably mostly, in you. Because if you can hear him in you, you can also double check what you hear outside. Amen? So this is important. you got to learn to hear from God. And uh, this is accurate teaching on how to hear from God. So this is good stuff. Help us out. Send an offering. Help us out. Look at lovinglifeministriesint.com and also look at calledbeyond.com. And there's PayPal and there's addresses. Send us, send us an offering. We're helping you out. This is changing your life. If you can hear from God, you'll make better decisions and your life will go better. Amen. You'll overcome. So uh, help us out. This is good teaching. It's very accurate, very good. Revelation knowledge, very real. So help us out. Loving Life Ministries, INT, INT for International. Loving Life Ministries, INT.com, and also called beyond, C A L L E D, beyond.com, and help us out. Send us an offering, and we'll give you some more good teaching coming up. Okay.